discussing the fashion industry, it's useful to remember that it encompasses two major aspects, style and sales. Anuel Amar is familiar with both sides of this equation and he uses this insight to great effect as the editor-in-chief of an online fashion magazine. Mishal met up with him to get the inside story. Fashion has always been more than just a job for Anwal Amar. And after completing his studies in marketing management, he immersed himself in every aspect of the industry, from the glitter of the ramp to the reality of retail. Then he began writing for an online fashion portal and his career took a dramatic turn as he rose through the ranks from menswear lead to content editor and eventually editor-in-chief. Having gained valuable experience as a stylist to South Africa's leading fashion houses, Anul Amar made the bold decision to take his passion to the next level. Star Me Strauss is an online publication which serves as the perfect beacon in which to showcase his talents to the world. Anul and his fashion team are hard at work preparing their next issue and invited us along. Hello, 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 hello. How are you Hi. Doing? Good, good, good. I hope I'm not disturbing. Uh, no, you're not. We actually just finished. So, guys, that's enough. Just want to uh, get a chat with Michelle. It is actually. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so I got you off early. Yes, it's thank you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I definitely want to hear more about what you do. Okay, awesome. Let's do can that. Can we chat? Yes, Great. we can. Anul, this is such a busy time for you. It is. It is. Uh, you've caught us at a busy time. Did you always imagine that this is what you'd be doing professionally? I've never wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, uh, you know, one of those I've, I've always known from an early age. That is where I want to be, yes. What were you like as a child growing up? I would say I was an introvert, but a happy introvert. I'm still that little kid. I go to movies by myself. And I actually draw a lot of inspiration when I'm by myself. What was your introduction to fashion? When I was little, my dad them still have a little clothing shops in Paul. And from there, it, it was me engaging with the product that they had in their stores and then also reading fashion magazines and getting inspiration from me. It's seeing a cover of a magazine brings so much delight to my day. So to me, it is, is that part. Well, today it's a fun shoot and you've invited us along. I promise I'll be quiet, but if you need help, I'm here. Shall we get to it? Yes. Great. Annual values the time he spent interacting with shoppers, as it's given him an insight into how consumers perceive the product. Let's have a look at these ones before we move on to the next look. Yes, perfect. Okay, awesome. Next look, look number two. Okay. And all, what's the role of a stylist? Just use your imagination, be creative, and the person that you're working with, let them understand your imagination, but allow whatever you're styling them in, uh, flow with their personality. Well, it's the last look of the day, so I'm going to leave you to it. They, they're perfect, they go well. Pretty good toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know what is your creative process like when creating these looks? Right now we've gone with a timeless sort of theme. So when we sit down, we pin the colorways we want to work with, we pin the, the looks, the fabrics we want to work with, and obviously the brands we want to work with. Now fashion is always evolving. How's your style changing? I love monochrome looks, black or blues only mainly. So it's very rarely you'll see me in, in something very elaborate. The photo shoot is taking place, but what happens afterwards? The team and I will sit down, we go through all the looks after we've printed them out. We check quality, we check which ones are working, which ones are not working and you're very big on how the images come out so we work from there. Well it looks like they are done and I'm excited to see it. Shall we head over? Let's do some approval, let's see. I love the ones. Oh that's beautiful. Well is that it? Yeah, so we're done for the day. That's a wrap. That is a wrap but it's not a wrap for you. I want to get to know you a bit more. Okay great. This is a business for you. So you've transitioned from stylist to businessman. How's that been? Exactly. Obviously, it's a difficult process going from being a stylist to straight to operating a business. Um, obviously, you work with investors. They want to see the values, the brand, and how they buy into the brand. At the end of the day, it's about making a profit, about making money for them. You're in the business of creating fashion headlines. Look into the future. What headline do you see for yourself? Headline for myself personally, let's see how we can conquer Africa and how we can conquer uh, the international market. Yeah. When passion and purpose align, the world is your oyster. Anul, thank you so much for your time. Ah, thank you so much.
Having seen his publication grow from strength to strength, Anul has moved from a stylist to a fully-fledged businessman. With the objective to pioneer the future of fashion, he's inspiring others to live their truth.